last time on Loney. The money was not counted. You didn't restock any lids or cups. Just imagine coming to work the next day. Would you be able to manage everything? Oh shit, maybe I forgot more than just a few things. Dude, I'm finna get fired, bruh. No. So yeah, as you all probably already know from reading the title of the video, I ended up losing my job at the smoothie place. But it wasn't from my incompetent ass messing up like how I did in part 1. It was worse. But let's start off from where we left off. Now after receiving those angry texts from my manager, I just felt so stupid. Cause like forgetting to do that many closing tasks including me leaving the wet toilet water all over the floor? Like nah, what the hell was 16 year old me expecting to happen? Of course I'm gonna get cooked by my manager, like who the hell wouldn't be pissed? Like she had to wake up in the morning and commute all the way to work just to find out the person who did closing forgot to do half of the mandatory tasks and left a total mess all over the place and almost burned the entire smoothie place down. Like shit, if that happened to me, I'd be pissed too. But yeah, after that mishap, I obviously have to study up and actually remember what to do during closing shift because I wasn't trying to get cooked by my manager again. And I was actually trying to keep this job for the remainder of high school so I could get some extra cash and work experience. And also, Jessica would start to supervise me again because she didn't trust me working alone in the store and this made me pretty annoyed because I didn't like being monitored and judged on every movement I did, because I like doing stuff my own way. And I remember trying to convince Jessica to let me be able to work alone again, saying, Hey Jessica, I know I messed up bad that last time during closing, but I promise I've learned from my mistake and will not mess up like that ever again. So could I please still work alone? I can handle it, I promise. Hmm, are you sure you're ready? Yeah, 100%. I won't screw up this time. Hmm, alright, I'm trusting you. So she allowed me to work alone again, and I felt free again without having her watching my every move. Now, before before we move on, a quick word from today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is a stunning multiplayer military action game that can be played for free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, so you can gather up all your friends to play together. This game is absolutely loaded with a ton of different military vehicles that you can choose to take into battle which consists of tanks, airplanes, helicopters, and ships. It all depends on your playstyle, but personally, I'm picking the tanks because I like breaking through the front line and going ham blowing stuff up. In addition, all vehicles in the game can be upgraded using modules and you can even customize your machine with different skins so that you can pull up to the battlefield dripping and not to mention war thunder's amazing realistic graphics physics and sound that will definitely keep you immersed in the atmosphere of a real war and recently update alpha strike has arrived adding in an entire new map to battle on and a plethora of new equipment to add to your vehicles so this is a great time to jump in and if you want to try out war thunder for free use the link in the description and all new players and those who haven't played war thunder for half a year or more will receive 100k silver lions three premium vehicles a week of premium account and even more bonuses on the the screen right now. So go down with War Thunder and thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the video. And the thing about working at this specific smoothie place was that it was a pretty dead store. And this was due to the ongoing pandemic back then and in general there were just better stores around the area to get drinks than the spot that I was working at. So it wasn't really busy much. Like the most I've ever seen was probably like four total customers in the store. And this other time where I got a large uber order of like eight drinks that was probably for like a party or something. And since we weren't getting much business the majority of my time would be spent cutting for fruits, sweeping, and mopping the floors. And when I was done with that, I'd either attempt to do my physics homework and struggle to grasp the concepts because I didn't even understand my own homework. So most of the time, I would just give up and watch YouTube or listen to music. Like, to be honest with you, as much as the job was pretty easy, a lot of the times, I was just bored out of my mind. Because you could only watch YouTube and listen to music for so long till that also gets boring. And it got to the point where I just wanted to go home, bro. Like, shit was ass. And what made it worse was my beef with the radio because we had to keep the radio on so that our non-existent customers could listen to it. But bro, the radio would just constantly cycle through the exact same playlist every single day and it was driving me insane listening to the same rotation of songs. Like, do you know what listening to Rockstar by DaBaby, Watermelon Sugar High by Harry Styles, and Dynamite by BTS over a hundred times does to you? It felt like I was sentenced to like music torture because I was actually on the verge of delirium from listening to these songs on repeat. I'm telling you bro, I wanted to chuck the radio out the window straight up. And it also didn't help that I was pretty ass at doing my job at times. Like sometimes I just straight up forget how to make a drink and would have to look at the recipe sheet while making a customer's order. But to be fair, I was only employed here for around two months, so cut me some slack, man. I wasn't like my manager who had been working here for a while and already basically
basically mastered everything about being a smoothie barista. Like, she was a level 100 pro, and I was out here noobing like a level 1 noob. Because, like, bro, I only wanted this job for the money, keeping it real. I didn't like talking to customers at all. But I was forced to because of the pandemic making our boss only schedule one person per shift. And, dude, I remember this one time where I was doing closing shift, and I was trying to close the POS system. But I literally forgot how to do it, and I was trying everything to attempt to close it. But it wasn't working. So I had to call a co-worker over, and let's call him Ryu. Now, Ryu was a chill-ass dude, and luckily he was cool coming over to the shop to help me, because he lived close. But, like, bro, that's how shit I was at this job, bruh. I didn't know how to close the POS system. Like, shit had me so confused, because the layout of the screen looked like it was made in Microsoft Paint, which threw me off. And low-key, I felt kind of bad having to call Ryu over from his house, because he was probably just chilling at home, not needing to think about work, until my dumbass had to call him over. He's real, though, because I probably would have gotten stuck in the store by myself for, like, hours trying to figure it out for myself. Or would have just left and got flamed the next day by my manager. Like, the only part of the job that I actually enjoyed was making drinks for myself when there weren't customers around and taste testing all the different flavors. Like, when I would clock out on my shift, I would just make a bunch of drinks to take home to share with my family and I'd just be sipping on them on the train ride home. This was literally the best part of the job, man. Just getting free shit. Like, as much as I didn't really enjoy working here, I can't lie. Their drinks were pretty fire. But they were expensive as fuck if you were to buy them at normal price. And dude, I just gotta talk about this one time where I made this customer a literal mystery drink. Now hear me out. So on the menu, I obviously had to memorize the ingredients required to make the fruit smoothies. But on the menu, there was also this section that included like two milk tea drinks. And I was never really taught or shown how to make them correctly. So this one time, there was this customer that came to the store and he asked me, Hey, excuse me, could I get one of your jasmine green milk teas? Now right when he said this, I was like, oh shit. Uh, yeah, we're actually out of stock on the jasmine green milk tea. I'm sorry, sir. Bro, my ass started lying because, dude, I literally didn't know how to make this drink at all. But the customer then says, Oh, for real? They usually have it in stock. I get it all the time. Hmm. But I guess I'll just get the Assam black milk tea instead. Now, bro, no way he chose the other milk tea drink, man. And at this point, there was no way I was gonna cap again and say it's also out of stock. So I was like, man, fuck it. Okay, that would be $6. How would you like to pay? Card, please. <laughs> Okay, it'll be ready in five minutes. Sounds good. So now I'm in the back stressing because I literally had no clue on how to make this drink properly. Like, why does this guy want milk tea so bad, bro? Like, damn! And I was looking at the recipe sheet and it didn't have it on there, so fuck. Hmm. Well, I do remember my manager telling me that I just put, like, milk, the Assam tea, and the creamer together or something like that. So that's exactly why I did. I poured the three ingredients into a cup and added the tapioca and called it a day and returned it to the front to give to the customer. Uh, here's your drink, sir. Thank you so much. No problem. And that was that. I literally just gave that guy a mystery drink that probably tasted like ass. Because I definitely messed up the ratios. His ass definitely never came back to the store after this. And man, so when my friend and I initially got the job at the smoothie place, we told all our friends that we'd hook them all up with free drinks. And that's what we did. So sometimes our friends would pull up during our shift and we'd bless them up with free drinks on the house. Like, we were too real with that. And this one particular time, my friend was working and we all planned to pull up to the shop. But this time, we'd all head on over to the back and make our boys drinks. So that's what we did. So we all pulled up to the store and we were all chilling at the back while my friend and I were whipping it up in the kitchen, making drinks and having a grand old time. So around two hours passed and it was time for my friend to start closing. So I started helping my boy close up the store and shit. And while he's counting the money in the cash register, he quickly realizes that $10 is missing from it. Now missing money is normal. It's usually a $2 difference that's missing. But $10? Nah, we were actually cooked. Cause I forgot to mention, the store obviously had cameras. So Crystal was definitely gonna go and check the security footage just in case we stole the money. Now shit, dude, at this point we definitely knew we were gonna get into some shit cause there is actual evidence of us breaking the rules big time. Like giving free shit away is a big no-no. So my friend texts our manager about the missing money and we quickly finish up the closing tasks and dip while shitting our pants. And the next day I get a DM from my friend saying, yo Crystal said that I won't be getting scheduled on any of the days for a while and that I need to learn my lesson from breaking the rules bro. So obviously they reviewed the security footage and saw all of us in the back just having a fucking fantastic time and saw that we broke the two rules of allowing people in the back and giving out free drinks. Now shit, my friend wasn't getting scheduled at all now, but for some reason I still got scheduled for like two more days. Like did they not see me in the security footage? I was literally caught in 8k with my hands up until inevitably they stopped putting me on the schedule as well and Crystal broke the news to me too. Hey Loney, we're gonna be scheduling you less cause we don't want high school students working here due to the ongoing pandemic. 
bullshit, man. That was not the reason at all. She just wanted me to get the hell out because I was never scheduled a shift ever again. I was employed there for a total of two months. But hey, completely understandable because if I were in her shoes, I'd do the exact same thing. But hey, man, technically speaking, she never officially fired me and said that I'd be getting scheduled less. So, hey, I technically still work there to this day, but their store recently went out of business and they had to sell the place. So now I'm officially fired, guys. You're fired! So yeah, that's the story of how I got fired from the smoothie place. And guys, please don't follow in my footsteps and be a menace, bro. Keep your jobs, guys. But I still got more job stories, so let me know if you want to hear about those too. But follow my socials. Anyways, I'm out. Bye!